hello and welcome back to my channel being rocky i hope everyone is having a safe and wonderful day guys so here's a clip of the guy bringing the dirt for us to full our raised bed All right guys, so you see how me and the wifey build a raised bed. So I went to Home Depot and to protect the wood from now rotting out because it's gonna be water and soil in here constantly, I bought this. So this is what they do roof with. It's a roofing paper before you put down the shingle. So I turn it the opposite side so it protects the wood. So I am gonna line the box, all my boxes inside and then I'm gonna fill the dirt in. And it works out really cheaper because if you go with the plastic like 6mm plastic for a roll like this it's a hundred and forty nine dollars and I bought this whole roll which will do for the whole garden for 54 bucks at Home Depot Wow not bad same material and it's much better as you can see it's like tarp One day honey was eating a pepper and he took the seeds and put it in this container and look we have pepper plant and then I guess this okra here one of the seeds fell from the dry okra into the container and now we have a new plant Easy to work with the material. Uh, is it easy to work with? Yeah, yeah, it's easy to work with. Um, just like the wheat block, mm -hmm. I staple, right, and then cut. And I'm just stapling the top because in the bottom the dirt's gonna hold it down. Right, true. You know. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just to get it so I can cut it nice. You see how I did that one inside? very neat yeah so that you can actually see left the weed block some of the weed block right so the water goes down so you know you know they plant up they plant they get water so okay guys so as honey was explaining he is lining these raised beds with this material 
that he just showed you the roofing paper the roofing plastic sorry and in the bottom there that is the weed blocker so the water will be able to escape so it wouldn't get the plants water soaked he's just doing this fab this material on the sides which makes a lot of sense because as you can see here the groove he doesn't want the soil to get out also so that would also prevent that with this material that he's using all right so we use the weed blocker on the floor here on the ground so eventually we'll add um pebbles to that all right so it's looking amazing and of course honey's always doing a very very neat job as always another one is almost completed this ah the squirrel the possum and the raccoon they left one for us a peach for me and you to share <laughs> Oh, what it's a like nice... a little hard too anyway. Look at oh, that. Oh, what a How nice like little those, treat. Right? Uh -huh. Thank you. That's all they left. Look, oh, guys. <laughs> that was nice of them. Yes. <laughs> cool. see them tonight and I tell them thank you. <laughs> so nice and windy, eh? Yeah, it's nice. It's going to rain in a little bit. Yeah. So I'm trying to get some of the dirt in so I could do some planting. You know how nice that would be if I oh, get yeah. some of the plants done and the rain come? Especially the Karaila. Yeah. I forget to buy the mesh at Home Depot. Lor. It's okay. We could go later. Yeah. It's fun when it's raining and we're in Home Depot. I love it. <laughs> and by the way, guys, that's my favorite place to go shopping. It's weird. I'm a girl, but I love going to Home Depot and Lowe's. And honey, sometimes he trembles when he takes me there because he knows there's another project in my mind. <laughs> when you say, you don't want to go walk, let's go to Home Depot. Like, no. <laughs> let's go shopping elsewhere. Let's go shopping. <laughs> honey, that's a nice wheelbarrow. Mm -hmm. Can I have it when you're done with it? No, ma'am. I wanted to plant flowers in it. No, I'm not going to give you this. <laughs> <laughs> is going to get his dirt I know you would <laughs> it's gonna look cute Let's plant flowers in it because my babies look they see me standing here and they all came look so pretty and when rock come to look at them they run away they swim away sorry looks so beautiful I just love this bougainvillea and then it has like the three different colors so it's really really pretty look at the yellow we have a lot of projects going on honey says he's gonna pressure wash the fence we have to paint the fence in the back as well a lot a lot of projects before Ali and Azim's wedding. So honey's adding the dirt to the raised beds. Because the plants that we set, the seeds, they all came up and they got so big. So we have to plant them down and I think it's gonna rain this afternoon. So honey wants to put them down before it starts raining. Yes, you are. Always finding something to do. Yes, 
you see how nice it looks inside there though mm -hmm. it's actually like um like potting soil yeah it's really good dirt right yes it's really light and fluffy mm -hmm. Definitely. To level it, yeah. It's very loose, nice dirt. When the guy delivered it, delivered it, he said it was good. This is the best. And then later on, another day, we'll go by Suraj's farm and get the cow dung, right? Yes, the cow mole. Cow mole. <laughs> yeah. That will make them bad. It's big like umbrella. Yes. Huh? I see something already planted on. <laughs> I saw on my back for what? Three minutes to load up this wheelbarrow. <laughs> You like it? Yeah, it's beautiful. You know what we call that? What? Spin wheel. Spin wheel. Spin <laughs> wheel. I think it looks pretty in the corner yeah, there. It's, it looks right. awesome. And it's gonna know. um when it's windy it's gonna spin nice. Yeah, let me put this pipe here. So okay. I can pull it up, you know? Cool. Everything is looking so nice. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So that big um, raised bed, how much wheelbarrow? Dirt? Five, six, seven, seven. Seven? Eight, yeah, I, I think eight. Eight? Let's say eight. Okay, cool. This is one. See how much it is already? Mm -hmm. okay. That's only one. And, and you left enough room over there for the cow mole? Yes. Nice. I got about four inches down. Mm -hmm. So mash it up, beat it up, and sprinkle it. <laughs> That'll be the fertilizer. Nice. So we go with organic. Yes, sir. So what are we doing here, love? Peppers. I think weary, weary peppers. So let me fold this one up. I'll fold that one up. And you can start bringing your plants. Yes. And put what you want, and I'll plant it on here. And honey said he left a little area next to the peat tree over there for a bench for us. Yeah, <laughs> so we could rock and watch our garden. Yeah. I can't build no box here anyway. Yeah. Because of the AC. AC, right, right. So. Yeah. So in total, we'll have about how many raised raised beds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Once I'm all done. Oh wow. So, we're not gonna plant all, all 12 this season. Right. But once we're done with it, next next season. Yeah, there's always room for upgrading. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But this is awesome for this year. Oh, look, my spinneroni was going a little bit. Look, yeah, look. Like, like, look. <laughs> Guys, and I got that at Ross. <laughs> it's so pretty. Spin I love meal. it. I love it. I add my little touch. And thank you, Lord, for leveling out my dirt. You're welcome. That's gonna do really, really good. And if you had to fill these up with the bags from Home Depot, oh my God. So Rock paid uh, three hundred and fifteen dollars for four cubic yards. Cubic yard, I think he says cubic yard. Four yeah. cubic cubic yards of dirt, and it's from it's reliable. really good. Yeah, reliable peat. Yeah, very good. Um, and the guys, they were the guy that came. He was really, really nice. Okay, guys. So that's the last wheelbarrow for the third raised bed. Yeah, perfect. So tree is full up. We're gonna plant two of it or one with the peppers, right? Because we're thinking over there. Sorry, my hand is dirty. I was playing in the dirt. Yeah, she was. Look how fluffy it is. Thank you, love. <laughs> all right. So that we're going to do all peppers, eh? Yes. This one, 
green onion, shallot, or scythe. Yeah, I think so. And maybe that one herbs. Yeah, all your um, your herbs like a margman, basil, basil. What else? Um, celery, celery parsley, parsley, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. And a nice plant of um, what we had next to the pond. Uh, thyme. No. Oh, rosemary. Rosemary. Yeah. Nice little plant of rosemary. Yeah, we could do the rosemary maybe in the middle and then have yeah. all the rest around. And yeah. rosemary, nice when we do fishes. Right, right. All right, look. Time, right, see now? time to plant down. So, guys, let me show you guys the um, seeds that Honey had set uh, a few months ago, eh? Yeah. About two months ago? About that. Yeah. We can't. I think it's washed out. Red. This Didn't... is a red. Red, that's the red habanero well. Yes. So this is red. So why do you put this in the back? Maybe the habanero towards the windmill. Okay. Yeah. Or just mix them. What do you uh, think? It looks nice like different. All colors. right. So you do. Yes. No, I'm just saying. Whatever you think. So for a person, why don't eat pepper? You really like a lot of pepper. I right? love to see it. Especially the weary weary when they bear. Yeah. They look so pretty. Yeah, you could scatter them, honey. It's okay. That reminds me of when Anna Ricky was here. Mm -hmm. So remember Anna, me and Anna was cooking? Yeah. And Anna was like, Sherry babes. So you know me, Rock and Ricky eat a lot of pepper. How you want? <laughs> and you tell Anna, Anna, misbehave. <laughs> and they say, um, no, misbehave a little bit. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> remember that, Anna? Yeah, I remember. Yes. Right, Anna, you remember that? Look, two, yeah. in, two in there in this one. Yeah. So in, in that whole container, we have habaneros, we have yellow weary weary and red weary weary. weary yes. So those are three different types. Okay. All right. So, let's so see. what I'll do is mm -hmm. I'll, I'll take out the little ones. Yeah. And I plant the big ones. And what I do is I do this. You break off the top. Yes, that's perfect. So they, they actually grow stem. <laughs> All, All right. right. Cool. So, so stay tuned, guys. On this plant here. Yeah, let me show them the peppers, honey, first. Yeah, look how big they are. Yeah, they got really big. Yeah. So, honey, pinch off the tops. Show on one honey bun. Yeah, look. See how big this one is? Yeah. So, what do you do? So, is... what I do is I just knock the top off like that. So, it, it um, yeah, spreads out. It spreads out. Right? Okay, so honey's planting down the peppers and we can't really read the label because they <laughs> they washed out so we will see when they bear. We're not sure. Huh? What do you say honey? Oh, hello. I said we're not sure which peppers is which but um, we will see. With me, it's a guessing game. <laughs> yep. I just put them wherever, honey. You just have to. Um, it looks pretty, though, right? It looks nice, yeah. Yeah, it looks nice. Mm hmm. And you know what? We could plant in between. Um, they said marigold will help with the insects. Oh. Right? I think. So we'll plant marigolds in between. Sorry, but if this really fall, mm -hmm. you can see their plants. They got stripe, right? Nice. I'm next week I'll get pepper. <laughs> Alright guys, so stay tuned. So honey's doing the next box, the fourth box. And we already planted the peppers down. Gotta give them some water. Everything is looking so nice. Okay, guys, so honey is chopping. So, there you go. It looks pretty too, honey. Yes. But that helps it not go like. 
Right. Or shit when it's through in the door. Sturdy. Yeah. So you can't, you know? Right. Yeah, I'm going nowhere. <laughs> Next one. one. Like that. Huh? Yeah. What's the honey bun? Line, put the liner and full up. Mm -hmm. Babes, we don't have plans for all these boxes. I know, we gotta go shopping. Okay. <laughs> we gotta make the next move to home before, I think. I think so. Yeah. I just want when we finish clapping the rain for <laughs> Alright guys, so honey is planting down some of the bok choy that we set, the seeds and uh, a lot of them um, got destroyed but this few saved so honey is putting them down. C fingers crossed that they will catch, right honey? Yes, yes. And then we got to save only one of the okra and then we had one here so we planted this one in there right we gotta go home depot and get some more plants okay guys so we're here at the flea market in mount dora and we're going to try to see if we can get some vegetable plants for our raised beds very exciting so come along with us it's always a pleasure taking you guys with us all right habanero chocolate habanero and this is a jamaican chocolate habanero wow teardrop and then i see you got two sorrel so guys look he have sorrel as well and they're like five bucks for a plant honey got two of them they're very nice so that's the teardrop hot peppers. Honey got that as well. One of my friends is asking if they have um, broadleaf thyme, but I did not find any today for her. But uh, Honey got a few peppers, and we'll show you guys when we plant it when we get home. We'll show you guys. It's very windy, as you can see. Honey's getting a bit um, seasoning. So we're here at another stand and Honey's picking up some um, seasoning, some herbs. So we have some really nice parsley, chives, we have thyme, sage, rosemary, we have different kinds. This plant is called a trim plant they're $25 and it's a tree and honey's getting me one how beautiful it is
go home and plant now. guys so honey is setting seed he's setting this spinach that he got from home depot today have a plan baji baji and then his friend alim gave him purple balanje or eggplant so he's gonna set that seed also how much are that we said love about, about 10, 10 plants? plants yeah 10 is good so stay tuned guys that's gonna germinate in a few weeks so guys honey is back at it again and he's running the water lines for these boxes here one two so he already run for this one now he's doing for that one right So guys, I'm here at this garden center and I'm picking up some shallowed seeds to plant in our raised beds. And that's the price. And I'm gonna get a few. Look how many mangoes fell off the tree. We had some heavy rain and a lot of mango fell off the tree but there's still a lot all right so we bought some shallow seeds at palmer's feeding store on church street right honey yes and uh, them out you gotta cut them like that in order to plant them down right mm -hmm. so it so fast okay cool i come here so i'm gonna be doing that while honey is filling out the raised beds so nice and get a, like a, a sharp a sharp razor blade slip okay cool so, even though sometimes you see this still look. cut it yeah because when you cut it like that, you get more than one shoot. Okay. Come cool. out to it. That's a trick. You see how this one, you're going to think like plant it down now. Cut it. <laughs> cut it. Alright. Cut cool. out of my head. Okay, guys. So I cut off the rest of the head and I planted a few down here. So I'm going to go ahead and plant the rest and I'll show you guys how it turns out, okay? Okay guys, everything is coming along nicely. I just finished planting down the shallot and uh, I did the balanje over there. And now honey's cleaning here and we're gonna put down sorrel, two sorrel plant, a rosemary and uh, two okra. And uh, what is that honey bun? Looks like cassava. <laughs> And I love playing in the dirt. Look at my hands. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get the um the, it's called nut grass. Oh nut grass out. Yes, yeah, so you gotta get actually the roots. Yes. The little the little nut. Mm -hmm. See it? If you don't get this, it's gonna grow back. You never get them. And honey was telling you guys earlier that um, the sun is really hot. We're going to go to Home Depot and try to get a cover for these plants. I give them a little water and uh, it looks like they're catching up back good. And uh, there is the shallow that I planted down. Those are the sorrel that's going to go down soon. We did this um, baji yesterday. This is... Um, what do you call it? The white stem baji bak choy. Honey got some peppers. Chocolate pepper, teardrop, Jamaican scotch bonnet, and a bird pepper, chili pepper. Right? We got two red hibernators. 
on two habaneros yes and these ones are all weary weary peppers there right that's the chocolate pepper <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I doubt that honey bun. That's yeah. the teardrop. The habaneros. And this one is the chili, eh? Yeah. This one is the cayenne, chili. I think. It's cayenne. Cayenne, love. cayenne. Yeah, he said cayenne. Okay, yeah. nice. Yeah, it's cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. And, and then this one here is a uh, scotch bonnet no this is the jamaican chocolate oh the jamaican look chocolate look how big they get oh, see trying to it wow oh. they're huge yeah yeah that's the jamaican chocolate oh nice okay cool and we were lucky to find these eggplants or bygan or balanje so we got two black beauty and then two of the chinese long one right And then we went and we got one tomato. I think these are the cherry tomatoes. Oh, they're called Sweet Million. And then we have to go buy more. And then we have an extra raised bed there. Honey says he's going to plant Karaila. He's going to do an arbor over that. And we're going to plant um, Poi Baji in the bottom all right so stay tuned guys everything is looking amazing so it's the next day and honey is planting down some more tomatoes looks nice hon thank you this is swirly <laughs> so then. this is a bush early girl bush early girl nice a and sweet million and then we got the we got a yellow one here okay golden jubilee nice and then here honey plant down the carilla on both sides look how beautiful he did this so the Karaila is going to climb up those trellis thing there. And then in the bottom, he's going to plant Poi Baji. Right? Garden is coming along nicely. Beautiful. All right, guys, so we're here at Home Depot. As you can see in the previous video, Honey had bought these shades, but he bought the smaller one. So now we're here for the bigger one, right, Han? Yeah. And this one is 12 by 12 and it's 59 78 and it works the little one works awesome for the plant yeah so that's why you came back to get the bigger one and this is it here guys and they're at home depot and they're for 59.99 right and they have them in several colors Okay guys, so we're back from Home Depot and Honey came home and installed all three of the shade. This is a really sunny area and it's going to help the plants a lot. So we're done for the day. Just want to give you guys a tour of the garden. This is where the Karaila is. And as you guys can see, Honey built like a little arbor thing there so that it'll run. And we're saving this bank for the Poi Baji that we set. The seeds. There goes honey bun. <laughs> Chilling in my garden. Yeah, you look comfy. Yeah, beautiful, yeah. 
and then um, these are the tomatoes so we got four different varieties of tomato here All right then we have the bygan our eggplant All right there goes honey peach tree <laughs> yeah it's perfect and uh, these are all the peppers that he planted, right? Those are the weary, weary peppers. This is the bok choy bhaji. These are all the herbs and shallots. We did three more weary, weary pepper here. Of course, I added a sunflower. We have a rosemary. And then we have two sorrel plants. And we're saving this little area here. We're gonna put our thyme tree. So we're gonna re be relocating him. All right. So that's the view of the side yard. Next, we're planning to paint all the raised beds we chose a color that's called feather silver feather from bear so we're going to be doing that and then honey is going to be adding a few more raised beds later but stay tuned guys for more updates as we go along Alright guys, thank you for spending this little time with me and the wifey. First year we are doing raised beds. We got a lot of more work to do, but we almost there. Right babes? Yeah, it's looking amazing. And oh my god, in the whole garden I'm proud of my peppers. <laughs> so guys, there's a debate of do we put the green fake grass here or pebbles? Drop a comment below. Let me and the wife you know what you think would look better in this garden. And we will do what you guys says. <laughs> okay? Definitely. And as you can see, the wifey just water. We got our plant. Once again, from the bottom of our heart, we thank you so much for all the love and the support you've shown us on our YouTube channel. Thanks for all the awesome comments that you've been sharing with us and all the little tips and the ideas. We do appreciate it. All right? And once again, if you haven't, please like and subscribe.